Oh wow, this is like way too close. Ah, don't get closer. Well, hello everybody and welcome to my channel. I am in my new house, this is so exciting. I'm not actually living here yet though, so I'll let you know when that actually happened. But today I went to Target and got some goodies, mainly for the bedrooms. Actually, no, not mainly, all for the bedrooms. Mostly though for my guest room. So I wanted to show you what I got. Anything that I can find, I will link it down below for you guys. Like I said, everything's from Target. I will talk about something from Pottery Barn in just a moment because that's kind of what I picked out for the guest room, but a lot of the items that I bought for, from Target obviously coordinate with that item. Let's get into this thing. So let's start off with the drapery rods. Um, I've been looking for drapery rods for a little while. Haven't really found anything I'm like super jacked up about, but I saw something at Target and I really, really liked it. So I got the same rod for both rooms. However, the way that the rooms are laid out is a little bit different. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna extend my window a little bit in my master bedroom. So I got a rod that was a little bit longer than the window. Um, and then for the guest room, the bed is actually gonna be kind of, the headboard's gonna be kind of covering a portion of the window. So I just went for one that was about the right length because I'm not really gonna extend it because the wall's kind of funny and it's not centered and it's just one of those things that will drive me crazy forever. So let me show you what I got. This is what I ended up purchasing. It has like the glass finial on the side with the oil rubbed bronze. It is a threshold brand and this is the drapery rod bronze finish. This is the one for my room, so the longer one. And then this one is 66 to 120. I will end up getting a conversion kit for this, but at my local Target, I didn't see any. I did see some at Walmart when I was there a couple of weeks ago, or maybe it was last week. So I might just go pick up one there, which is fine, but um, because I'm gonna put shears on the back of my window. But I'll show you those in a minute, because I already bought them. Put it off camera so nobody can see my mouth. This one, it's the same exact thing. Um, I just liked this so much. I thought this was such a nice, kind of elegant look, but um, you know, still had that kind of heaviness with the dark pole. I don't know, I just liked it. So um, this is also the same thing, but this one's only 36 to 66, and my window I think is a total of 58. So I can go over just a little bit, but again, it's gonna, that headboard is gonna be hitting the window, so I don't wanna extend it too much because just it's just gonna look funny. Okay, so let's talk about the master bedroom first because my bedroom I didn't get that much stuff for because I already have like all my bedding and everything is actually currently in storage and I'm very excited to get it out of storage. But for my shears, I ended up going with the Room Essentials 84 inch panel. This is one window shear. Again, I will link everything below for you guys too. I ended up getting a total of four. Um, I just really like that kind of bunchy look. Um, with shears, it gives you a little bit of privacy so you can still have your blinds open or you know your window open But just kind of have a little bit of a buffer in there and I really like it for the lighting as well So um, if I want to film in my room or something, this is always like a nice natural diffuser So I really like that. So um, I think that these were about $5.99 or $6.99 very inexpensive and um, I'm excited, I'm excited about these. Also, I'm very pumped about this. These are the Nate Berkus line, and let me show you up close a little bit. They are kind of like a natural color and white, or almost an ivory. I loved these. I actually went to Target a couple of weeks before I actually purchased my panels for down here. I'm in my loft right now. But unfortunately, they didn't come in 108 inches. The Nate Berkus line only came in the 84 and the 96. These are the 84s. I got two panels, and these will match really, really well with the bedding that I already have in storage. Um, but I loved these, and I was so sad that I couldn't get them in a longer length, but I'm just pumped I can finally get these because these are really, really nice. And they're like a super nice, heavy weight, so I feel like it's gonna be really nice for diffusing light and also blocking out light as well. So, you know, I like to nap in the middle of the day sometimes. All right, so that is it for the master bedroom. So let's get into the guest room. First of all, let me show you what I got from Pottery Barn because then it all kind of like makes sense a little bit. Even though this is not a Pottery Barn haul, I still want to show you what I got the other day. It's going to make a lot more sense. So I got this. This is called the McKenna Paisley Duvet Cover, and this is the full queen. It's still in the packaging, but I took out one of the shams out of the packaging, so it's not like 
glaring the light. So I got two standard shams and then also the duvet cover. But these are the colors. I just thought it was so pretty and neutral. On camera, it is coming off a little bit blue, but where it's actually blue is really a gray. So it's warm and cool at the same time, which is like my favorite, favorite thing. And then um, this is the catalyst for all of the other design choices that I am making in that room. So when I was walking through Target today, I noticed that some of their sheet sets were on sale for like 50% off, which never happens by the way. So I put my little grubby fingers in there and saw if there was any full sheets and there were. So I was pumped. All right, so these are the Threshold brand classic Percale, Percale, I don't know how to say this, you guys. Percale, mom says it's Percale. She's, she's painting right now as I'm filming, um, but these were originally $39.99 and they were on sale for $19.98. Um, there was only two in the white left in the full size because that's what the bed is going to be in there at some point. And I figured why not get the entire sh uh, sheet set and it's the entire thing. It's the fitted sheet, the flat sheet, and two standard pillowcases. So. I'm excited about this because now I can have a sheet set on the bed and then I can also have another one for, you know, waiting in the wings in case I have a guest come or I have another guest kind of back to back or something like that. I always like to have two sheet sets because I feel like you're, you're always kind of cycling out and then you don't, you know, wear out just one sheet set. You always have a backup. So this is what it's gonna look like together with the white and then um, the Pottery Barn McKenna on there, which I think looks really nice. And then I was walking through the clearance section um, on a different end cap and I saw this and I was like, ooh, I think this is gonna go pretty perfectly. So I need to get that. This is a queen size, which is fine because you know full queen is about the same. I know a queen bed is just a little bit longer and a little bit wider than a full, but I thought this is okay. I like oversized on beds because I just, I like that kind of luxurious look. But this is field crest. Let me show you, it's kind of a big one. I was looking for a quilt um, that would go on there as well. Obviously that's a duvet cover and I've already ordered the duvet. Um, I think I got that from, yeah, I got it from Bed Bath & Beyond and um, that's coming, but that's not exciting. So don't worry about that. I'm not gonna do a haul on that. This was originally $79.99 and on sale for $39.98. So I just thought this would be really, really nice. And then when I put it up next to it, this tan color that's in here is exactly the same tan color that's in this quilt. So. I love the way this looks. This has a little bit of texture to it, which is really nice, and also a little bit of sheen as well. Um, the bedding that I chose is really, really matte. It doesn't have any sheen to it, so I like that contrast. I like a lot of texture in bedding. Very excited about this. I don't know if this is gonna be on the website any longer just because it's on clearance, but if it is, I will put it down below or I'll put something similar. Um, I'm sure Fieldcrest still has these, but maybe in different color options, but. I'll take a look for you guys. And lastly for that room, I was thinking about just doing some white shears with the drapery rod that I just showed you. But again, I was thinking, well, I'm not sure what I wanna do. I would like to do some sort of colored panel, but again, I just couldn't figure out what I wanted. So as I was walking down the drapery aisle, I actually saw these and these just, I just gravitated towards them because they were so plain and basic, but yet still kind of interesting. These are by Threshold and they're a light filtering curtain panel and it says Cream Fera. And this is what they look like. Let me give you a close up of the material. So as you can see, it has a little bit of texture to it and it's kind of just this white and cream and beige to it, but it's still really nice. And everything is the same color that you see back here on the wall. And I just thought that would look really nice next to it. You know, I don't know, I think it looks nice. And everything all together. Now these together look really nice as well. So I just, I'm so excited about this stuff. This, these colors are so me. I already showed my mom this stuff as she's like painting right now. But I showed my mom this stuff and she's like, oh, it's like a sea of Emily. It's all like grays and beiges and whites and really boring. So, but I think it's kind of fun because as I was telling my mom earlier, if you get sick of something in one room, if you kind of keep the same design and the same color palette happening throughout the entire house, you can move a couple of things around and not buy anything new. 
but feel like the space is completely different. So that's why I love working with similar color palettes throughout the entire home because it just makes my life a lot easier when I'm going and buying stuff. But I hope you guys enjoyed the haul. If you have any questions, feel free to post them below and I will get back to you. Also, if you have any great tips or tricks with home design and decor, please tell me in the comments. As you all know, if you've been watching my Bloom series, um, I bought a house, so I am now looking for all of these things that I may or may not have had, or I am possibly upgrading some things too, which is very exciting. So um, I'm taking you along on my Bloom series, but this stuff I'm very pumped about because, I mean, who doesn't love new bedding and new draperies? I just think it really just completes a room and is just, awesome. And before I forget, I will link the um, Pottery Barn stuff that I got down below, even though this isn't like a Pottery Barn haul, this is like strictly a Target haul, but I wanted to show you guys that so you could like see the coordination. And also, I will be filming a guest room video, um, kind of not start to finish, but you know, once it's all completed, I've had a lot of questions on that, so I wanted to show you everything once it's all done, and that will probably be done I would say in the next month or two, um, I have a guest coming to stay at the very end of July, I think, if I remember right, either end of July, early August, I can't remember. Um, so I have a guest coming to stay then, so it's going to be completed by then. So you guys will see it. So I'm gonna jet, I need to finish my vlog for the day. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to thumbs up the video and subscribe if you wanna see more stuff from me. I'm here every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday with new content at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. And right now, I am in the middle of my Vloom series, which means that I'm filming my normal day daily life every day and uploading every day too, but once July happens, that's not happening anymore, unfortunately. So anyway, I'm in a jet. I will talk to you guys very soon. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Bye.